find the value of the limit sin x by x if x is tending to infinity. Now, as x is tending to infinity, we know that 1 by x tends to 0. Hence, sin x by x also tends to 0. That is option C. Grill is 0 to 1 dx by x bar p. Now, we have to check this integral is convergent for what values of p. Now, let us find the integral of this. It can be written as 0 to 1 x bar minus p dx, which is nothing but x bar minus p plus 1 by minus p plus 1 over the limit 0 to 1. This is nothing but 1 by 1 minus p. Now, if p is equals to 1, this value is infinity, so it is not convergent. Now, if p is less than 1, obviously this is a finite value and hence the required answer is C. At matrix 2, 1, 3, 2 into matrix A into minus 3, 2, 5, minus 3 is equals to identity matrix. Now we have to find this matrix A. Let us take this first matrix as some x, then the next matrix is A and let us take the next matrix as y is equals to i. So, I will take this x to other side that is multiplying x inverse on both sides. So, it will be a y is equals to i into x inverse which can be written as a y is equals to x inverse. Similarly, I will take this y to other side that means multiplying y inverse on both sides. So, a is equals to x inverse into y inverse which can be written as y x whole inverse. Now, y x is nothing but the multiplication of matrices y and x minus 3 to 5 minus 3 into 2 1 3 2. Let us multiply them. Minus 6 plus 6 it is 0. Minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 which is 1. Then 10 minus 9 which is 1. Then again 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So, we know the value of y x which is nothing but 0 1 1 minus 1. Now, we need to find y x whole inverse. If we use the formula 1 by a d minus b c d minus b minus c a and find the inverse we will get the matrix 1 1 1 0 which is nothing but option d. The probability of a bit decoded correctly at the receiver is if n bits are sent, what is the probability that at most one bit is decoded incorrectly? The probability of this is suppose x is less than k. k is at most 1, so k equals to 0 to 1 nk p power k 1 minus p power n minus k. If we solve, if it is k equals to 0, this factor goes to 1, so it is p power 1 minus p power n my n n p 1 minus p n minus 1 hence option d is correct is common properties of collection of random signals form a probabilistic model known as a random process this is option b is correct is if RB represents a ratio of average energy per bit to noise PRC, then error probability PE with matched filter for polar and unipolar signals are respectively. We know that Q of X, if X is higher, goes Q of X1, Q of X2. X1 is greater than X2 means Q of X1 is less than Q of X2. Here we know that noise effect on unipolar signals is less than the noise effect on the polar signals. Hence, option D is correct. Question is, as length L of the MOSFET M increases, then voltage gain of the amplifier shown below. We know that the voltage gain of an amplifier is, suppose, minus GM mod. Here GM is transconductance which is decided completely by the Q point DC values. We know that GM is equals to 2 ID divided by VGS minus VT. We know that here ID equals to I1 which is a fixed biasing. So ID equals to KN dash W by L VGS minus VT whole square. See I, ID is fixed but IL is increasing means what about VGS minus VT? Kn dash is the constant, W is the constant 
but VGS minus VT is the overdrive voltage it has to increase in order to maintain ID as a constant so if overdrive voltage increases what about GM because in case of GM ID is constant VGS minus VT increases means the GM decreases if GM decreases what about the voltage gain it also has to decrease so option A is correct the question is which one of the following statements is not true if we consider the statement A an intrinsic semiconductor the concentration of electrons in the conduction band is same as the concentration of holes in the valency band yeah that's true because in case of an intrinsic semiconductor number of electrons equals to the number of holes equals to the intrinsic carrier concentration that is represented by the equation 1 if we go to the statement B the probability of energy state at the Fermi level being occupied by an electron is 1 by 2 yes if if we consider the Fermi Dirac fraction that is 1 by 1 plus exponential minus of E minus EF by KT if we substitute E equals to EF then we will get F of E equals to 1 by 2 and statement B is also true if we go to statement C the mobility of electron is higher than that of holes as mu n is greater than that of mu h hence statement C is also true if we go to statement D in an n-type semiconductor the concentration of holes is equal to that of intrinsic carrier concentration it is a wrong statement because in, in case of an n-type semiconductor number of electrons is greater than the intrinsic carrier concentration that means the minority carrier carriers number of holes must be less than the intrinsic carrier concentration hence statement D is the false hence answer D is correct question is the phenomena of injection electroluminescence is the basis of working of see electroluminescence means electrical energy into light energy means electrical signal to light conversion see in case of photodiodes it converts light energy into electrical signals in case of LE it emits the light proportional to the current it is carrying in the phototransistor it takes the light as the input it produces the electrical signal solar cells it takes the solar uh, uh, solar light as the input signal it stores the energy in the form of electrical so option B is correct a parallel combination of N resistors are connected across the ideal current source of I amperes the expression for the current in the kth resistor is see we can draw a diagram like this in order to represent this question that is this is K R R N this is I amperes V K this is I K I K equals to V K by R K here V K is nothing but I into a parallel combination of R1 parallel R2 parallel R K parallel R N so I K equals to 1 by R K divided by 1 by R1 plus up to 1 by R N into I hence option B is correct question is a half wave lossless line of characteristic impedance at node is terminated to a loop of impedance schedule as shown below the input impedance and seen at the other end is here lambda by 2 length of transmission line is shown and uh, terminated with a ZL whose character impedance is Z0 we know that Z in equation as Z0 ZL plus JZ0 tan beta L divided by Z0 plus JZL tan beta L this is the generalized input impedance equation for the transmission line here beta L as 2 pi by lambda into length is lambda by 2 which is equals to pi hence tan pi is equals to 0 means Zn equals to ZL 
if we substitute the tan pi equals to 0 into the equation z in equation we will get z in equals to zl which is option c is correct